The El Paso and Northeastern Railroad built the Mexican Canyon Trestle to access the Sacramento Mountain Timber. In the process, it soon became a tourist attraction in the region. Since the last train descended the mountain in 1947, the trestle has seen little in repairs. It is in danger of collapse. Like the S-curve bridge just around the bend which fell in 1960, we can prevent this if we act now. Forestry Services archaeologist Eric Dillingham gives safety instructions to volunteers. The project involves federal and state agencies, the Mescalero Apache Nation, the BNSF Railroad, Rails to Trails, and ordinary people who just want to help. Uh, a wooden frame bent trestle. It's 323 feet long, 60 feet high. Being that it's made out of wood, it's starting to decompose rapidly. So what is a frame bent? Well, we've got 23 of them on this trestle. And as you work today, you'll see some numbers along the sides of the trestle on the west side. And those number the bends from one end all the way to the other. Spearheading this project is New Mexico representative Steve Pierce. Now then, we've got volunteers, we've got free timbers, we've got free milling and, and some engineering studies. The rails to trails at that point got really involved. Forest Service, meanwhile, is, is plowing their resources in. They've got 100 and something, 120,000 or whatever. But basically you have kind of a whole loose association of people that, that just have one common deal and that's, we would like I, I want my grandkids, grandkid to see that because that's, that's my earliest view of New Mexico. A donation of vintage rails brought out professional railsmen and volunteers to remove them for use on the Mexican Canyon Trestle. You can help the work continue. We need your involvement to save this unique piece of American history. Won't you lend a hand? For more information on how you can assist, contact the Forest Service at the Lincoln National Forest Office, 575-682-2511.